So here we go. We're on 2920, getting ready to get on I-45, headed towards the Woodlands Harley Davidson dealership where Kickstands Up is, I think, 9 o'clock or 9.30, something like that. But man, it has been a minute since I've been on my bike. Uh, I think the last ride I did with our chapter was back in April. So, and it, our temperatures got really hot early in the season. So I think we were like in the hundreds and I just couldn't do it. So I decided to take a couple of months that were hot and uh, take care of some things inside our home and um, wait till the weather got a little cooler for me to ride. Well, that's why I haven't been on my bike. Yeah, today was absolutely gorgeous. It was beautiful. If you notice, I keep looking to my left. Um, my husband uh, made a mention about the cement truck that's up on the interstate because we're getting ready to get on, and he wanted to make sure that I saw it. He's communicating that into our scenes. And so I'm letting him know that, hey, I see it because he's gonna put his blinker on to signal me to get over and take that lane. And so he's not coming over until I secure that lane for him. So, which is why he pointed out the cement truck. So I'm checking back, looking back, making sure he's not speeding up on us so I can get in that lane. I make the hand gesture that I'm coming over, got my blinker on, take the lane for him and communicate to him, lane is yours, and he comes over. So yeah, we're headed to, um, Yep, yep, wait. Another hand signal there. Kind of hard to get it all the way up in the air above my helmet a little bit because, you know, the wind is really blowing you. But um, hand signals are very important when you are group riding and when you're just riding solo or like with my husband and I riding as a couple. But um, yeah, we're headed to uh, the dealership. Um, kickstands up I think around 9 30 uh, 9 o'clock 9 30 we're doing an 81 mile ride to Bear Barbecue Restaurant in Tomball Texas gonna be riding through um, I think Conroe Montgomery County um, and I think uh, what is it and you know end up in Tomball and I think we're gonna ride through Sam Houston uh, State Park which is my favorite ride to do so yeah, should be a wonderful um, morning. As you can see, the sky is absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous. I'm wearing my Bond Armor jersey, which is a blessing because um, it's perforated. It allows wind to blow through. And when you do sweat, uh, it, it acts like a little mini air conditioner, you know, because um, it's vented. The shirt has a little perforation holes through it. So it feels really good when you ride it. So we're exiting, headed toward the dealership for an 80 mile ride to Bear Barbecue Restaurant. So I just got here to the dealership um, where I think kickstands up at 9 o'clock. So uh, we have a few, a few bikes here, one over there. So um, everybody's kind of rallying in, but yeah, this is my first ride since forever. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. So far, so good. It feels pretty good outside. And uh, like I said, I got my jersey on. So uh, we'll see, but I'm looking forward to it. Man, I got to get used to this because I didn't know where my visor bu uh, button was on my helmet. I couldn't figure out hardly half of my stuff on my on my helmet. Not my bike. So, but that's what happens when uh, you know you hadn't been riding in a minute. But looking forward to. I think we're doing 81 miles uh, through Sam Houston State Park, Tomball area. So it should be nice. We'll see. Stay tuned. So we've had our safety briefing and we're getting ready to head out. Um, I think we have five groups. So that's five, ten, fifteen, twenty riders. And uh, we don't all ride together. We break the groups up into smaller groups, which is five bikes a piece. And we have a road captain and we have a suite. My husband is in front, you see right there, he is the road captain. 
the guy in the red shirt giving us all the thumbs up let us know if everybody's ready he is the super sweep so he's the last bike out of all the groups just blew my moto horn and uh but he's the last guy to leave out of the dealership he's called the super sweep and he'll ride behind everyone to make sure everybody gets to the destination safe when i tell you i love our chapter i love our chapter because we don't play and i'm just so appreciative of them um taking my husband and i under our wings and and teaching us and loving on us and having patience with us so we can ride the good ride of faith and um yeah we I, i'm man we've learned so much as you can tell he my husband is now a road captain so i'm uh riding behind him in second position which i realized i probably should be at third or fourth <laughs> but we'll talk about that later Anywho, so we're getting ready to head out. Like I said, it's five groups. Group one is in front of us. We're group two, three and four are behind us. So when we get to the light, the position is every bike is two by two. You tighten up really tight through the light um, so you can get through the light as a group. You won't leave anyone behind. So my husband always pulls, you know, over to the side to let my spider come in next to him and we are and this is how we ride as a couple as well which our group uh, our chapter uh, group rides has taught us that so if you don't ride with a chapter you probably want to you know look in your local area and find a chapter to kind of ride with at least just try it one time you know you learn a lot so here we are going through the light and my husband's telling everybody, keep it tight, keep it tight. The sweep, which is the last guy in our group, he's letting uh, the road captain, my husband, know, hey, we all made it through the light. So um, we are going to get on the interstate and ride a good ways up the interstate to get to, you know, out in the country part where we're actually going to be doing the ride. Um, but, uh, yeah, riding on the interstate has been a journey for me. And there I go. I'm still fidgeting with my, uh, <laughs> my helmet because I realized the, um, the little clip for my visor to go up and down is right behind my Cena, the Cena antenna. And so I'm like, oh my God, I can't do <laughs> I was struggling. <laughs> And my husband is telling me, okay, get together. Because <laughs> that's one thing, this uh, a pet peeve in our chapter is they want you to have all your stuff working in order, worked out before you get on that bike because they don't want you doing a lot of fidgeting. They want you to be, be able to pay attention. So here we go. beautiful day see the sky was blue we ran into a few little dark clouds but um you know hey it's texas so we actually have five uh guys in our group my husband is the um road captain he's the lead and it's myself I have another one of our chapter members behind me another guy and then our super sweet they indicated that they wanted that lane so we had to speed up so we could get over because we're getting ready to get on the interstate in a bit so like I said this was kind of stressful for me a little bit because like I said I hadn't been on my bike since April and then the first ride I decided I decided to do we're getting on I-45 <laughs> at 9 30 in the morning and we got traffic well, mildly traffic, but. So we're getting on I-45 and what happens here is our sweep, he gets over first and secures the lane. And then everyone um, from back to front get over. So my husband is indicating that he wants that lane. The sweep takes it, 
and then everybody falls in. And uh, like I said, it was a little stressful because man, you know, you still gotta ride your ride, pay attention to everything around you, but also pay attention to what the group is doing. They're communicating that they also wanna get into the next lane, but we have two cars next to us. So, and I'm telling my husband right there, he has his blinker on. So they're communicating, hey, we got this pickup truck next to us, let him go by. Hey, we still have another car coming up, pay attention. As soon as this car gets out of the way, we'll take the lane. You can kind of see our suite back there. And you see the right behind me gets over. I'm waiting until he clears. And then I indicate that I want to get over. Car, go ahead and pass us and get out of the way. And my husband is uh, in front. He gets into the lane. So to me, it was a little stressful. To everybody else, they were good. <laughs> Our chapter rides all the time. So here we are headed into uh, Montgomery County. Again, this is an 81 mile ride out to Bear Barbecue Restaurant located in Tomball, Texas. Um, one of our chapter members, um, he's friends with the guy that, that owns the restaurant. And so when I tell you it's good barbecue, really good sides, they have this street corn that's off of the corn on the cob that is off the chain. So if you're ever in Tomball, you need to go by Bear Barbecue Restaurant and uh, give it a try. But anyway, here we go. And uh, without fail, we have our Texas tar snakes that you see on the highway. And uh, yeah, they are a booger bear. You want to be very careful riding over those because with the temperatures being in the upper hundreds, uh, the tar snakes kind of, they, they soften up and they are a magnet for um, screws and sharp objects and glass and uh, very dangerous to your wheels. There they go. Tar snakes all over the place. But as you can see, beautiful sky, absolutely gorgeous. And uh, here we are coming into Montgomery County. I love that huge flag that you see over that big white, uh, I think that's a bank. But um, when, when you're coming up to that point over the little hill a little bit, you see that flag in the sky and it lets you know that you're headed to, uh, you know, you've, you're in Montgomery County. So we're checking on everybody right there, make sure everybody's good. Because um, I think we're getting ready to come into the park, Sam Houston State Park. And yes, you can tell by the tall trees that we have arrived in Sam Houston State Park. When I tell you this is one of the most beautiful rides, at least in my opinion, because on a spider, it's just, it's awesome. <laughs> the curves are really nice and gentle, and you know, you, you, you feel like a baby in a cradle. You know, you just slalom, slalom, slalom. And you're definitely gonna get the two finger wave back up in here, because it is a motorcycle rider heaven you're definitely gonna see some riders back up in here. But beautiful roads, the nice tall trees um, towering over you, um, reaching towards the heaven. And then there's this breeze, sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> oh, you just wanna stay in this little pocket all day long riding. The curves, like I said, are just, forgiving is just gentle and 
you know, they just hug your bike. You just hug your bike and, you know, I'm watching my husband ride in front of me and, you know, you see him just, just flipping it as he's going into the curves. I'm like, show off. <laughs> ah. Yes, indeed. But if you're ever in Texas and you're on a bike, please check out Sam Houston State Park. Beautiful park to ride your bike through. So here we are, finally made it to uh, Tomball. Uh, getting ready to cross, I think this is 2920. And you'll notice to the left of us, this black car just ahead of my husband's bike, where she indicated that she wanted to get in front of us. So my husband is communicating to all of us, hey, look, this little black car wants to get over. We're gonna hold tight, let her do what she do. So one of the cool things about riding in a chapter and having your scenes on and everyone uh, understanding what's going on and being a part of the conversation will know what's going on. So you notice she gets over. We also had a discussion on the fact that this particular lanes, both of them turn left. So stay tight, keep your head on a swivel. Let's make it through this life together. And everyone did. So this is the little town of uh, Tomball. This is used to be Main Street. Um, used to call this little area right here Four Corners. But uh, it has changed tremendously since we moved to Texas. Uh, ain't nothing little about it no more. <laughs> it's built up a lot in this area. But he just signaled that we're turning right. And so now we're on uh, 249 up in Tomball. About maybe two, three minutes out from uh, Bear Barbecue Restaurant, which is up in Tomball. Excellent barbecue and really good sides. I'm a sides girl. <laughs> My mac and cheese, good baked beans, a potato salad. You know, I need somebody, Big Mama, back up in that kitchen doing what they do. Because you know, you can cook all the brisket you want, all the ribs, you can be an expert on the meats, but if your sides ain't right, your meat ain't hitting it. That's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. Sides gotta be good. So here we are arriving at Bear Barbecue Restaurant in Tomball, Texas. Really nice uh, little restaurant you want to check out if you're ever in Tomball, Texas. So everybody's parking their bike. Uh, usually my husband and I just take one parking space. He'll get his bike in and then I'll bag in because my front, front of my bike has two tires. <laughs> As he likes to tell me, you drive a car. That ain't a bike, it's a car. <laughs> so... I don't pull all the way in because I don't want someone to think that there's nothing there and just pull into my bike. But yeah, there you go. Air barbecue. I had the brisket uh, sandwich, chopped beef. And there's my honey. Me and my honey. <laughs> <laughs> 